Logan McDonald there on screen. Hasn't played yet. Been spent the first half on the bench, but looking forward to seeing him in action in this second half. Yeah, really like him. He's, he's played against men in the waffle. He's been a goal kicker. And I think what you'll really appreciate, grow to love to him, as this guy gets a bigger frame, he's going to be competing against bigger bodies again than he's familiar with, is the protection of the drop zone. He identifies where the ball is likely to drop and then basically makes it an uncontested mark at the end. I had so, a quick chat to um, Josh Kennedy during the week who, who said he's very unlike the other two who have been academy in the academy since they were 10 and they've just straight in. Very quiet, but you can just pick the confidence. Blakey should have time. Gathers, sends it back to Hewitt. A high ball. Now Logan's got a big run at it. And he'll go again, McDonald. This is Wicks. Spills out the side. And now the run of Heaney. He'll gather and he'll go. He'll stop. And then delivers. Looking for McDonald. Fun time's on. Fun time is on. A first year player, but not to be. Well done by Riccardi. Stayed in the play that time, but you're not seeing him fly for marks anymore. That's because he's trying to spoil. He's second to the ball. McCartan's reading it as... Who will fight for everything because he's fighting for a spot in the starting 22 for the Swans in round one. Got the trip up to Brisbane. Their first home game comes against the Crows. Finlayson there in the middle. For jumping. Yep, on the ground for the first time today. Finlayson having the runners. The Swans go forward again and there is Logan McDonald, the youngster. Pick four in the draft, the big 196 centimetre key forward. He's get, we're going to get his first look at a goal in the Swans' colours. And he's generally a very good set shot for goal. From 49 metres out, look at that, strikes that beautifully. Had no trouble with the journey. And there is the future of the Swans on display. That's gone 15 over the line too, Joey. What do you kick from 49? Or oh, man on the mark was 49. Hickey does well here. Just a little juke. And then gets the ball quickly going. You ever hit one off the tee? 300 down the middle, Derm. And you just turn your back on it, knowing yeah. you, it's going to where you... Yeah. Going to be playing the next. That's out of the screws. I might as well celebrate now. <laughs> <laughs> How good. Yeah. How good's that? Peeling round behind him was Blakey with intent. He delivers on his left. McDonald was there. And now Hayward. Warner. McDonald. Back to Hayward. Beauty for Bruin. It's a bit too sharp for him, in fact. And the Swans will look to rebound. Blakey with that beautiful left leg goes towards McDonald. Well, if you want to talk about the future of the Swans, how nice is that, Kingy? Blakey to McDonald. That was a good lead. He led to the right, the correct side, so the kicker could make it. Well, he'll have no trouble with the journey from what we saw from his last kick, and he didn't. He had the journey easily, but just hooked that one. But a good start for McDonald. One goal, one. Wicks. Bombs away, he blasts it at the back. One time to Reed. They haven't got themselves out of trouble yet. This is coming, caught by Sam Reed. The other Sam Reed for the Giants comes through. Logan McDonald's out of tickets. <laughs> He's already <laughs> out of tickets. He, he is sucking all the oxygen out of the Giants stadium at the moment. <laughs> he <laughs> fell into that last contest. Happy to share it around defensively. Melican. Mills, now they've got their rhythm going. Flying in from the side was Logan McDonald. He says, Kingy, I'll show you. Inside 50, skipped over the head of Papley. Papley's lurking, he's looking, was he taken high? On game style as well, every time Sydney went forward of the centre of the ground, any kick had threat amongst it because they were not intercept marked against in their own forward line. And, and this boy changed the complexion of the way this game looks when the ball went into Sydney's forward half. He's been on the field for one quarter and he changed the look of the yeah. ball movement for Sydney, taking three contested marks. I mean, sometimes you've, these young players just announce themselves. I know it's very early and it's a pre-season game. You can say what you like, but he's put himself in the action minute one. Here he is again, Green. But the Swans trying to clear it across half back. Logan McDonald, a long way from home. 
Goes to a one-on-one, -on -one and Hayward just got a step on his opponent there. Taranto, they've coughed it up. A high ball, pack flies. McDonald was involved. Giants with the numbers. Buckley. The veteran, still got a fair bit of footy left in him. Gave it to the youngster, Campbell, and now Mills. We'll go to it. Two on two. Good body work early by Heaney. Couldn't take the mark. McDonald nearly got boot the ball. Heaney again. Swans have got it through George Hewitt. Big fly went a little too early. Father Xavier O'Halloran's just come on the ground. Play on, you heard the umpire say. So the Swannies. He's a little stiff there, O'Halloran, I would have thought. McDonald his teammate Chad Warner to give him a haircut during the week. <laughs> Interesting. The last thing we'll be talking about is... The, yeah, the hairdos are so bad these days, you can get your mate to cut it and say that was professional. Now Mills back to Chad Warner. Warner from 60 out. It's going to land right in the goal square where Parker is. Connor Iden thumps it only towards Logan McDonald who has a snap off a step and misses. That's one goal too. He's come into the game, Isaac Herney, in the last 40 minutes. He's going to go to McDonald again. Well done by Buckley. Who has Haywood forward to the ball. He's got a bit of time and space. Shipley will give chase. His kick came inboard for McDonald. Did well on the half volley. He, as you say, David, he changed the complexion of the Sydney forward line. No longer were, was Haynes picking off the intercept mark. Every time the ball went forward, Logan McDonald got three contested marks or it came to ground. And that brought in more smaller plays. Heaney was crafty. Uh, Papley got amongst it. They just had a different complexion about them. I, I'm with Ben Dixon. I'm, I'm probably going with him in round one. 